Hi, I'm Sid Dobrin. This video addresses the Visual Proposal Project that asks students to create a visual that proposes a new design for the classroom. I like to assign this prompt because it provides students with the opportunity to create a visual proposal about a space they encounter in a different way than I do. That is, I find it interesting to see how students think about learning spaces, particularly the one we share together regularly, but for a limited amount of time, and one they might actually share in other contexts for other classes. And this is something I ask them to think about in terms of the situation. How does the space of the classroom, when combined with our class, differ situationally from the same space when you use it for a different class? I designed this assignment because when it comes to using visuals in conjunction with writing to propose strategies, spatial representations are one of the most evident ways to use visuals to communicate proposed ideas. One of the key aspects of this assignment, though, is for students to concentrate on the visual, not the written proposal. That is, students are not asked to write about their proposal or to explain their visuals in writing. Instead, they need to convey all of their proposed ideas to their audience in the visual. Part of what makes this feasible is helping students understand that the physical space of the classroom is part of the situation in which they and others participate. Thus, when proposing other uses for the space, it is the space itself that is already familiar to the audience. The proposal, then, should make connections for readers between the proposed space and the familiar space. So, for example, when I give this assignment, I also add the constraint that they can't alter the dimensions of the room. They can't, for example, propose that the classroom be as big as a town. I tie this constraint to conversations about identifying the problem and identifying the scope. Thus, what I want students to see is that the objective of the assignment is to propose a new design for the space, not an entirely new space. This clarification, I find, is also useful in helping students understand that part of how I will assess their visual proposals will be based on the ability of the audience, both me and other students, to identify the proposed situation within the current situation and to see the alterations the proposal makes. That is, the proposal must account for the current situation and the current space. With this in mind, I do try to provide some in-class time for them to work on the proposals so that they can photograph, sketch, measure, or whatever else they need to do in the space itself. One final note about this assignment. I do encourage students to use digital tools to complete this assignment rather than hand drawing their proposals. I emphasize this for two reasons. First, simple professionalism and delivery. And second, the possibilities that digital tools offer in terms of innovation and most important revision. I encourage students to see what software is available to them through the university and what is already available on their personal computers or mobile devices. That's just a little bit about how I approach this assignment. Thanks for using writing situations, and thanks for watching.